We are back with Don Rickles, and here on the toll-free is our friend Katie in Salina, Kansas. Hello. Hello, Hi, Tom. Katie. Hey, I'm so glad you're back. I followed you from CNBC. From pillar to post, kid. To after Dave, <laughs> yeah. Don Rickles is right here. Say hello to him. Hi, Don. Hello, dear. Don, you are hilarious. Well, thank you. What I want to ask you is, do you get mail or calls, you know, hate letters because of the ethnic groups that you talk about, say Jews, or uh, I love your sense of humor, but do you get Do people calls? react the wrong way is what Katie's right. looking well, for here, yeah. A lot of right. Jews want to shoot me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no. Maybe, no. Just, maybe just give me No, I was kidnapped speech. twice by me. But no, I don't, have, uh, I don't have those problems because I make fun of everything around me and after some 30 odd years and more of making fun of people, People pretty much know that the idea is to exaggerate all the insecurities about all of us. Look at this, I'm talking to the phone. Right on, Don. <laughs> but I, I make fun of everybody and everything, including myself. And I, if people don't know what Don Rickles does by now, they, they got a problem. But I really enjoy people and I love them and I think they know that in my performance. What about the younger crowd? I watched you one night on Comic Relief some years ago and that's a pretty young crowd and mm. they have a lot of political correctness in them and mm. they think you can't say anything about Jewish people or African American or mm. Polish people or whatever. And that's your shtick. That's what you do. Sure. And some of them didn't seem to get it. Would that be a fair way of saying it? Like, I don't know about that, Tom. Uh, you and I discussed this once before. I find that politi when I do it, politically incorrect, a lot of them have, who have never seen Don Rickles would go, ooh. But they would enjoy it, just like when I was on with Letterman, with Dave. You know. By the way, he was on tonight. Yes, he was. Yeah. <laughs> cute job. He's yeah. doing a cute job. So sweet of you to follow him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't need it. Hey, he's nice to open if for he's us. he's watching, should I tell him what you oh, told me? Oh, he's watching. Are you <laughs> had it up to here already? <laughs> Dave, he's had it up to here. Give him a break, huh? Hey, you, you don't have to say it. Hey, Dave, <laughs> up to here, pal. Yeah. <laughs> Walk away, Dave. Comb your hair. Do something. Gee. Mm. I need this, by the way. <laughs> nah, you're big. You're big, Tom. Yeah. You don't need... Tell him what you told me backstage before. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a brown nose up to him every day. Yeah, Dave, you're the best. You're, you're better than that other guy. You're know, better. You're better. You and I know you're fed up. Be a man. Walk away. Do what you promised me you were going to do. Spit on the pants. Hi, Dave. How about that, Dave? <laughs> the hell do you need, Dave? I'm getting steamed. I'm going to call him up now and tell him how you don't like the guy, for crying out loud. David Letterman, you don't like him, and be a man about it, for crying out loud. Dave, I don't care for you personally. Okay, well, right, give me that chair. <laughs> Finally got my own show again. <laughs> Dave, I love you, sweetheart. I think you're the greatest. Ooh, I would never knock you. Carson was nowhere. <laughs> you're the guy, boy. Never like Johnny. You were the best. Always. And I love you, boy. <laughs> Johnny was a warm-up. <laughs> Larry King is in the closet. You're the best. Katie, uh, thank you for calling us tonight. Yeah, thank you, Katie. Let's get lunch. We'll have lunch. Right on, Don. Take hey, care, Tom, honey. you have the most beautiful brown eyes, honey. <laughs> And we love you. She's your not show. talking to you, Don. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Let's not fight over who we haven't seen her. <laughs> she could be one of those broads you see over the fireplace. <laughs> you take a lot of chances, Pat. <laughs> she could fly right in here and we could see a real moose. <laughs> Nothing personal, darling. I'm sure you're Stop beautiful. But I can't take anymore. <laughs> well, I could see that. It's on the floor already. <laughs> Somebody get a towel. He's starting to do that. I... <laughs> Thanks, oh, you're Tom. Crazy. Katie, I'm sorry. Thank, thank you so much, Tom. Thank you, Katie. Good luck to you, sweetheart. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> you're brutal. You are just brutal. Well, hey, I'm going to sit and stare at you all night. But, but, a long night. But to watch you do this, I mean, you're so fast. How, how do you do this? Where did this come from in you? Well, my father said make a living. <laughs> no, I know that, but... No, I don't know. I think it was my personality all the time. I was the, like oh, all of us, this thing said, well, you were shy kid. I think most of us in this business were shy at one time or another. You know, I always said my, I had to be shy because my mother was knocking me around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> in those days, they, they didn't know about child abuse. No, no. My mother was great, though. But, you know, we, we, we lived under a, a, a world that, that to get attention, it was the jokes all the time, you know, and, and kidding around. And that's what I always did. I never planned it. It just happened that way. And it's all just kidding around. Yeah, yeah. But do I you mean, have malaria? What's no, no, I'm, I'm laughing so hard I'm crying. I could imagine what you're doing. No, I, I, I truly... Give me a Kleenex. <laughs> Maybe we're both sick. <laughs> Jeez, I feel like you do. Why am I doing this? I'm sitting with the host and he's doing this. Oh yeah, Don, how's, so how's your career? <laughs> Next thing I'm going to see you going... <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. God, trying to do a show, and a man's oh, wiping himself all over the place. Stop it. So I've lost control. What oh, the hell's the difference? It's, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, for crying out loud. We'll be back with Don Rickles after these messages. No, he won't. I'm walking. <laughs> the hell you are. Yeah. We have regrouped here, and here is Frederica in Orlando, Florida. Hi. Hi. Uh, Don, I'd like to know how you became a comedian. Well, <laughs> his mother hit him around. How did I become a comedian? I don't know. I was, I was always a kid in school that always was the, was the court jester and failed every subject. I'm not proud of that. And I was president of the high school, and I had a lot of trouble spelling cat. And uh, I was always uh, the one that uh, the girls ran away from because they thought I was kind of loud. And I was only doing that to uh, cover up my insecurities, like uh, a lot of guys in this business were very insecure, and women too. And I was, and uh, so I, uh, I just started little by little going to dances and functions and doing this, and the guy said, here's $5, then the guy said $10. And little by little, I started mm -hmm. to pick up uh, mm -hmm. on the jokes, and I became a career. And then I got up, now I'm up to, oh, 50 bucks, 50 bucks a night, which isn't bad. What about the insecurity? Is it still there every now and again? Yeah. Well, I think every actor is yeah. insecure. You're selling yourself. I always say that. We don't have a, I don't have a factory to back me up. I don't have a, a store that say, here, buy this. If I'm sick the ball game, the balloon goes up. In other words, I'm selling myself. If I'm good, the product is good. If I don't make it one night, there's, there's nothing to fall back on. At least, in, you know, a lot of guys have all kinds and of... And have you walked off stage knowing that, uh, that that night maybe you weren't as good as you were the night before? Yeah? I think I've walked off stage. I don't think the audience has ever known it. No. I've never let an audience know that, but I've felt more at ease some nights than other nights. Don't ask me why. Right. Some nights, I'm sure it's your case too, you feel a little tighter. Sure. Or you feel a little more relaxed. And some nights when I felt just great, the audience bothered me yeah. in, to myself. Yeah. And the nights when I said, oh, this is a stiff, they're falling on the floor. You know, now I'm on this show right now. We're going in the toilet. <laughs> well, I know it, you know it. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but don't tell talking. them that. No, they have no idea. No. We're both leaning over like we're enjoying each other. Yeah. And as soon as we go to commercial, you know you're spitting up all over me and you can't stand me. But hey, we fake it. That's the business. Frederica, lie. Frederica thanks for calling. Get in touch, Frederica. Does he write his own jokes, too? Why, no, is, he, no. is he my interpreter? No. You can ask me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, I'm not from Ethiopia. I was born here. All his stuff, uh, Frederica, is written by Newhart. Newhart writes all his yeah. stuff. Yeah. Bob Newhart, yeah. Bob Newhart's not here tonight. He's home with one of those magazines. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's alone a lot. <laughs> no, Bob's a dear friend of mine. You've got to say that, otherwise he gets moody and he won't yeah. go on the trip. Yeah. Well, go oh, you're going trip. on the trip, right? Yeah. Uh, Hong Kong, Singapore. Yeah, well, we've got to get our shirts done, so we're going to Hong Kong. Right? <laughs> Laundry here is bad, so we're going over there. You know, going, by, the way, by the way, you know what's funny? When you go to China and, and, and Hong Kong, the natives, their clothes aren't pressed. When you go over there, take a look at, like, the, the Mao suits they wear. They're not pressed. Thanks, Tom. It was great. No, but appreciate that. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for helping the joke, Don. <laughs> Frederica. <laughs> Frederica, thanks for calling, Don. Now you know why the Titanic went under. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but it... You were the captain. <laughs> Don't worry, men. <laughs> Listen. We're going to... Women and children. <laughs> well, you saw a hat. The Titanic only went down once. Well, I made it three times, Tom. <laughs> yeah. So shut up. <laughs> Frederica, thanks for calling. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. When you left the Navy at the end of the war, and you told the story about how you dropped your helmet, and the yeah. captain said, please, Rickles, take your helmet off because yeah. they can... How did you get your career restarted? You know, a lot of guys came out of the war, and they wondered, you know, how do I get this going again? You, you, know, you, was... you, you didn't have a job to go back to. No, I, I came out of the service, and to get girls, I said I was wounded. <laughs> and they said, show, like and they said show me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you did. And they went, oh, my God. Is that a shell? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's, it's so charred. <laughs> Must have been a direct hit. <laughs> Don't get me started. Leave yeah, me alone. No. Otherwise, he's liable to wake up and talk to me. <laughs> yeah, but then you'll never walk again. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Host leading the Jew. Oh, One no, 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 it's not a contest. But anyway, how do you get...